What's up YouTube? So today we're going to unbox and review the ML750 projector. Now I've been on a quest to up my game actually to make a better viewing experience in the bedroom but the problem is I have a 24 inch Sony TV which is great but it's too small a form factor so why not I figured why not take it to the next level what would I want to see we all go to the movies right so why not bring the movies to the bedroom which is what I did coming up what's up guys this is Herbie from Herbie's world showing you the IT means I try so if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by please subscribe so on this channel we do unboxings desktop support life hacks actual hacking and tech reviews of great products just like this one so anything we cover in this episode you'll find right on the bottom right over here so let's go check out the Optima ML750 projector let's go to the movies let the unboxing begin okay so now I've been on a quest to get a better sound system and movie type viewing in the bedroom so I ended up getting this Optima because I had the predecessor I had the PK320 which was good but this one has better lighting and why not compare that model to the new model so if you can see first of all how small of a form factor this is now I didn't want anything really big in the bedroom to stand out I wanted something that I could tuck away that you wouldn't notice so let's take a look okay so this comes in different models there's the ML 750 ST which is short through which means the closer you are you the closer you put to the, the projector to the screen you can put it like two feet and it would shine to 150 inches so let's take this bad boy out and see what else is here so we have the remote come in handy we have the universal IO to VGA for press to connect to laptops we have power cable let's see this is 65 watt and we have some stuff so light carrying case this is great so let's put this to the side and take a look at our featured attraction so this if you notice is a tiny projector that fits in your hand introducing the Optima ML750 now this is 700 lumen it's incredibly light it's really powerful and bright 700 lumen is fine the last one was 100 lumen the PK320 so a couple things I noticed the PK had a mini HDMI this has a regular HDMI we have the universal IO and USB and you can put a 32 I repeat a 32 gig micro SD card it won't see anything more than that this is great for PC free presentations so it has a built-in office viewer you can present through HDMI and MHL connectivity which is mobile high definition link and it has a powerful source of LED and requires no lamps to no bulbs to replace so this thing is, is powerful it should be really good and it's 700 lumens insane now this cost savings is 20,000 lamp hours for lamp life which is great and all you have to do is connect your iPhone or iPad and you'll get 1080p 
It has a chip that you can put in for wireless presentations. And let us plug this puppy up and see what we can do. Let me get you guys in a better spot. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to put in the power cable there. HDMI here, and then you just hit the power button. So now we need to grab our trusty adapter and plug this into whatever source you're going to use. So let's check this out. Plug it into my iPad. Just looking for the source. Doing HDMI and there we go. It is automatically, I can already tell that it's brighter. Um, let's hit the lights off and let's see what's going on. Okay, so this is 700 lumen. I mean, you could already tell the difference. And that's right. Okay, so okay, so here is the difference. On the top, we have the Optima PK320, and on the bottom, we have the ML750. Now, you can already tell that the color saturation on the bottom is richer. The brightness is definitely better. Um, you can see through the dark the illumination. So if I put it over, you can see the background still of the ML over the 750. So on top is 100 lumens and on bottom is 700. So let me go here. This remote is really, really cool. So you can see instantaneously the difference in the quality of the, it's, it's a better choice for a dark room. Now, also, the top one has a battery. So if I take out the plug, you'll go from 100 lumens to 25. So you can already tell. Now the bottom does not have any batteries. So it's a standalone system you have to keep. So I'm going to put the 320 into the truck and we'll have a movie player there. And let's go see how it looks in the bedroom. Okay guys, welcome to my bedroom. Now, I placed it right over here. So let me show you my setup first. But it's not done yet, I have more stuff coming, so... We have two JBL speakers. I got a stand right there, and it's projecting to the blind that I have here. Now, it, the room is lit, you can see it clearly, but when I turn off the lights, it's perfect for media consumption in the bedroom. Now, let's see a video. Let's see how we're doing. Now, I have a projector screen coming on Tuesday. How is that? That is awesome. Bright, clear, makes a clear difference. So, okay guys, so welcome again to my bedroom. Now, prior, you were looking at my iPad so what I did now is I put an Apple TV directly 
to the source. Now, let's go check out our home movie theater. Now, don't mind the split in the middle. I do have a screen coming in on Tuesday. So, let's go to movies. Literally the movies. And then we're going to go most popular. Here we go. Now this is an Apple TV 2 I'm testing it with. Um, I jailbroke an Apple TV 4 where the processor is much, much faster. But we have literally a plethora of movies in the bedroom. It's well lit. It doesn't have to be pitch black. Now, let us turn on the light and see if we can still see it. It's actually not bad, but you'd want to watch this with the light completely out. So once again, this is with an Apple TV too. Now the four will be at your fingertips. So basically all of this stuff here, same setup basically. All these different plugins and that's gonna do it for this episode guys catch you guys in the next one be kind this projector the ML 750 is a great movie projector for the bedroom it's actually really small so look at that really small form factor you barely even notice in the bedroom and that's what I was looking for so do me a favor hit that like button smash that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go to the movies.